first, I'm going to analyze the problem. I'm going to read the problem and visualize or make a movie in my mind about what is happening in the story. Nine fish were swimming in the pond. I see nine fish swimming around and around. Five more fish swam to join them. Oh, five fish started swimming too, but these are different fish. How many fish are swimming in the pond? What information do I know? Well, I know that there were nine fish swimming. So I have nine fish that were swimming. And then five more fish swam to join them. So we have five more fish. They're not the same fish. There were nine and now there's five more. What is the problem asking me to find? Let me go to my question. How many fish are swimming in the pond? Oh, it wants to know about the fish that are swimming in the pond. Not the fish at my cousin's house. Not the fish that were jumping, not the fish that were eating, but the fish that were swimming in the pond. All of the fish. Next, I'm going to plan and solve. What tools can I use to solve the problem? One thing I can try is to draw a picture. So there were nine fish. There's nine. And then five more fish joined them. Then I want to know all the fish that were swimming. So these are all fish. All of these are fish. Did I add or did I subtract fish? Well, I started off with nine and I joined five. Now there's a lot more than when I started. That means I added nine plus five. And I know that nine and one is ten and four more is fourteen. So my answer is fourteen fish. Now I'm going to justify and evaluate my answer. Does my solution answer the question? Is fourteen fish the right answer? Yes, because I want to know the number of fish that are swimming and these are all the fish that were swimming and those were 14 fish. I can check my answer on a double 10 frame. There were nine fish that were swimming so that's five and four that's nine and then five more fish started swimming. So that's one full row. I'm going to move this one up to make 10 so 10 and four is 14 fish. 